Hi guys, we're back on um, Open Box, and this is Reborn OS. Yes, I've just made a video about, well, Reborn OS. I installed it, the latest, latest one of 20, 2023 That's the number of the ISO. And what I do also is make sure that the Sarti and the Surfer icons are, well, um, everywhere, basically. <laughs> Everywhere is a big word, right? But many Linux distributions are supported by the fact that, um, let's go there, let's go there, just go there. This is my name, this is my website, and the only thing you will find there is the Sardi icons and the Surfing icons, right? So when we visit other distributions, I make sure that um, I mention it. So 116 tests already on Debian, on Linux Mint, quite a while on Linux Mint. Lots of videos on YouTube about Linux Mint in the past and then Ubuntu and all that. So these have all been tested. And the video that is this one, right? Reborn OS, there is no Reborn OS mentioned yet. So that's cool. Unless I am mistaken, no, 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 there is no, this is an Arch-based system, so it should be in here somewhere. So no, okay, so this will be added to the list. I'm here to check if the icons are all okay. Control alt t I want to have XFCE. This has Openbox and CHADWM. I launch, launch the Arch Linux 3 tool. I go to desktop, I go to awesome, I go to XFCE and I say, go grab me, install this thing. XFCE. So now I have, I don't think we have this, XD. So we do an LS of user share X sessions. I have chdwm, openbox, openbox kde and xfce on here, super x, logging out. Go into xfce because I know it's easier to have a look at the icons there. Unable to file save and so on, problems. Yes, and we're back. <laughs> All right, quit, restart. Did you try turning it off and on again? Remember the sentence, apply the sentence. Let's see if that did the trick. We're back in XFCE. All right, that did the trick. So, well, first of all, Control T working, pseudo Pacman minus S, give me the Sardi icons, uh, lots of variations, but the main one, the one I need now is the Sardi icons. These are SVGs, meaning you um, can change them, it's actually a text file. And that was, it was already installed, so I'm just going over the motions. So if you want to have them installed, this is what you need to type, surf icons git. And then we go check. Uh, now we can close. So settings, settings manager, appearance, GTK, R dark, dawn dark, icons, and off we go. So the thing we need, I like to use as a test, is the Sardi Ghost Flexible Arc. No, I like to test the Sardi Flexible Arc, not the Ghost one. So if you go in here, if you say, I'm done, so all settings, everything is blue, that's cool. Immediately I see these icons are okay. Then I go to settings, all the icons look blue. All icons accounted for, Reborn OS Fire and Welcome are of course not part of this, so we need to make new icons for those. And that looks all good, looks all good. Ah, Rofi, but Rofi, it's probably the Rofi issue, not the icons. I'm sure we have a Rofi icon. So basically, 
All right, two of them. That's, that's easy peasy. Not, not too much work. Computer, file system, user, share. Another reason why I use XFCE. So in here is what I need. On my other screen, I need to go to this one, github.com Eric Dubois. Refresh. And then there is Sardi as GitHub. Well, there are lots of Sardis actually. So back to the overview. And then I have a link to Sardi. Then I'll make an issue. So I'm working on my second screen here now. And this thing has a name. I can use any of these guys. Let's use micro. Icon is fire. Okay, so I have to create fire icon. How does it look? Uh -huh. Okay, so fire icon is probably something I'll look for. Create maybe. We'll see. And then we have this one. Also fire. And this one is going to be called, may I ask, Reborn OS developers, do not use this. Not a hard-coded path, but just this, right? Equals this will be beneficial for your users because then Numix icons, Papyrus and Paper and all those guys can actually use this or can create something for you and it will change with a theme. So I'm going to use this one as a name. Reborn OS. And if you ch start changing it, uh, things will be broken again. So decide to keep it. The name, I mean. Voila. So that's done. Fire icon and Reborn OS. Welcome logo. That's going to be my name. Can I save this? Is this saved? I don't know. Control Z. Because this is not Sublime Text, right? So right mouse click, open with Sublime Text. And it's saved. Okay. No, it's not saved. So this needs to go. This needs to go. Not okay. It really isn't. Can be PNG as well. So no extension. Control S. Yes, please. Now that's saved. It's broken, I know, but when we develop an icon for it, it will not be broken anymore. It's up to the developers to use it. In the meantime, make uh, the same um, file. So you have this icon and where do you put the icons? This is information for the developers, not for anybody else, right? You put the files in the icons and then inside high color, and maybe if it's a scalable thing, you put it in here in apps or otherwise you put it somewhere else, but in high color and then we get it as well. It will be applied if the current theme doesn't have it, this will be used. So no need for hard coded stuff. That's it for me. I think that was it, but I've closed it and I should check it again. And that was in user so computer file system user share applications all the way down so this one was called fire check can do it also like this nope it doesn't work here and we do it like that this is something maybe we should take take a look at. Same thing applies here. Don't do this. Refresh mirrors. So refresh mirrors. A cloud icon. Cloud icon. Refresh. Voila. So three icons to be created. I 
is this must be there must be the way it should be right roofy this one is fire and that's all there is to it so it's super simple um, actually we can show you as well if if there is an icon for it like um, welcome and we save let's see if it exists welcome um, pop up up oops right where is somewhere welcome welcome so here's reborn os here's the welcome so there is an icon for it there's some icon on my system called welcome and it gives you this and the same goes for everybody else so fire i don't know fire does not seem to be existing but um i don't know firefox for example right what happens to your system it gets replaced uh, it's easier to show here what was it fire settings like accessories reborn os fire is now the logo of firefox reborn os fire right so that's how we change things a little bit this is for the user right if if a user doesn't like things you can change it here but then if an update comes in it gets overwritten again you need to change it again unless you make a pacman hook that who says oh there's an update then i should have write it yeah might be too complex for a beginner but it's possible anything is possible on linux it really is anything is possible so let's back let's set it back to the way it should be create the icons and then we can have a look so control z Refresh mirrors, got that. Voila. So the same thing for surfing, which will be exactly the same, which uh, I don't really need to have a look at, but just showing you how surfing would look if you would use that one. Lots of choices. So basically it's just choose your, uh, your folder, your folder that you want to look at all day long. And then you have this. And this is less obvious that there are some icons in there that are not okay because it just fits in there. Except this one, we've broken that one. It doesn't exist, that particular thing. So I um, need to undo something, but I'll reinstall Reborn OS anyway and test it out with the proper new icons that will be developed soon. And that's what we do, right? We follow from time to time, uh, have a look if, if there's a new release, we install it, check out Sardis, check out Surfen. And if you wanna learn more about it, uh, people always ask questions about, hey, can we, can we learn about icons? Because icons matter, it's what we look at all day. Well, here's all the information I have gathered over the years, information on how to create things. Then you look Sardi, you look Surfen, and you search the YouTube channel and you'll find all kinds of stuff. Here's maybe something interesting as well, a directory. Make it yourself. Learn from these tutorials. You can make an icon theme yourself by combining elements, by copy pasting basically. Anybody can copy paste with some common sense it will just work a little scripting as well if you're interested in scripting basically all these uh, things well, let's let's end with that all these things that i've developed is user and share and then icons and then one of those right places uh eric don't do that let's go to the mother that's Sardi apps you think oh that's beautiful nice design it isn't right it isn't the design it's code svg is code and if you say i don't want to have it white red green blue all on i don't want it white i want it black that's all it is a code one two three four six it's black now 
save. So that's why scripting is interesting because we, we have like 50,000, let's see how many. I have scripts in there. They say, just go ahead and change 9,443 items and it will be done. Two seconds, three seconds. Scripts, learn how to change things and it's explained in the Colora things. Create this one, create that one, create this one, create that one. Result is this. <laughs> Pseudo Pacman minus S Saturday. Anything is possible with icons. These are all variations of Sardi because of the fact that we can script, because of the fact that it's an SVG, right? So, voila, that's it for me. Work to do, three icons, the one for with the fire reference, Reborn OS, welcome logo, refresh mirrors, and I do hope that the developers of Reborn OS find this information so that I know they shouldn't use hard-coded paths because it's not needed at all. All right, cheers.